So much fun, man. All right. Luckily, I got Charmaine. Eh? Making myself some breakfast. Got myself some bacon here. And uh, BLT. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and a bit of cheese. And uh, I'm coming off my run line. Oh, you can't see. Hang on, I'll take the polarized lens. Uh, you can see our track. It's we're just running off west. Promise two, promise two, promise two. This is Narval, Narval, Narval on zero eight over. Copy Narval, promise two, zero eight. How are you going out there, Brenton? Over. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I've done my uh, job. And uh, jiving as the uh, I hold in the uh, main all the way so you don't get that shock going from uh, one side of the sail going from one side of the boat to the other. And even though I did that, something uh, hit the deck uh, when it went around when it shock loaded. And uh, it's uh, I got a strop at the tack of the main uh, main sail to help hold it down give it a bit better shape and uh, that uh, that gadget snapped. It's a good 20 knots. It's good conditions, good sailing conditions. But it's certainly blowing. I think that's probably why I'm a little bit butterfly. But that's why I do it. Uh, those feelings that you get, the anticipation and, and being anxious and oh, you know, like you're out there by yourself on a boat that needs a couple of people really. Um, so that's why I'm a little bit, you know, <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty happy. I'm looking forward to getting up to the Kevil Islands. It's my second home, and I can't wait to tell you some stories about about that. I've started uploading more movies to Patreon and less movies to YouTube because I don't make a cent on YouTube and uh, I've got about 40 people donating a couple of dollars uh, so I can pay for uh, basically uploading so I need a, uh, a daughter plan uh, and food and, and diesel so I'm doing this on a really tight budget. Um, so if you guys are in the position to throw me a couple of bucks, then that'd be really appreciated.